Hey, Andy. What are you doing? Moving your truck. Why? Is it my way? You could have asked me first. No, could have parked on your side. Ryan! Crash! Hi, Andy. Hello, George. Jeremy. Oh, uh, hi, Andrea. How are you doing? Fine, Mr. Davis. How's school going? It's July. Ah. Right. <laughs> you helping uh, Grandpa out a little around the farm? She's just about running things. Huh. Well, I, uh, I need to talk to you about a couple of finance things, George. ¿Cuántas cuadrillas necesitas? Solo uno este año. Solo una. Para toda la huerta. Sí. Hola, Andy. Hola, Jaime. Miguelito quería saber si te casarías con él. Jaime. Él es más guapo que tú y también más listo. Me alegra que te diste cuenta. ¿Lo ves? Me gusta. Bueno, encontramos tus cuadrillas y hablamos pronto. Hasta luego. Bye. What Jeremy want? Oh, you know those bankers. Just something about tax returns and property benefits. Is the forklift? I think it's the carburetor. I'm gonna fix it after I take my nap. So when do we get any work done? I sure am glad you're here to take care of this place. It's gonna be a good year. Sure it is, Grandpa. Hey! I'm bored. Makes it work. Want to check sprinklers with me? Can I drive? Okay, and so then Megan, who'd been planning the senior party all along, broke up with him because she wanted to be with Rick. And so now Caleb is throwing his own party and just told me he wants to have it down by the creek and have like a fire and stuff. Stop! My point is, you should come. You invited? Ryan's invited, so it's like we're invited. Come on, I wanna go. And we both know Ryan will get in trouble without us, and I don't wanna babysit him all night. Besides, you need to get out more. Have some fun. I'll think about it. I saw this dress downtown that would look so good on you. We can go tomorrow. I'm busy tomorrow. You can take a day off. I know I can. Harvest. Harvest. Oh. I swear you'd pay more attention to me if I was a tree. Probably. <laughs> and then he took her to all the places that they went on their first date. My mom totally cried. God, I cannot wait until stuff like that happens to me. I want to go to Italy first. It looks so romantic. Send me postcards. Look who it is. Hey, Ryan. Hey, what are you all doing? Why do you always park in my way? The forklift never works. Why don't you just get a new one? Because unlike you, I can fix things. Ouch. <laughs> nah, she loves me. <laughs> Farm girls are starting in touch with their emotions. You live on a farm too, dumbass. Ignore her, she's being difficult. Hey, are you going to the senior bonfire next week? Yeah, probably. You wanna come? Ryan, I am shocked that you would just assume such a thing. But yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> you too, Andy? Nah, she's being stubborn. Andy, stubborn? You gonna get out of my way? Sure, you big enough to drive that thing? I stand corrected. Andy! Andy, it was just. 
just a joke. Seriously, knock it off. Damn it, Andy. You are incapable of normal social interaction. Pump set again, can't get it going. We should really get a new pump. Yeah, and tractors with AC. <laughs> I'll show you how to fix it in the morning. Giving it to Susan. She's got an exquisite talent for burning things. Okay, why don't you come over here and I'll show you how to make an asshole brulee, asshole. Answer the goddamn phone. Her Majesty Chef Linda Stone's Royal Kitchen. How may I help you? What? What? Your father's dead. They want to know what to do about your niece. Your grandfather seems to have suffered a cardiac event. His heart likely gave out under stress. It appears it happened very quickly. He just wouldn't have suffered that. He did everything he could to resuscitate him, but there was nothing he could do. His daughter. Linda, you're here. Where is she? She's in George's room. I'm sorry about your father. First your sister, now this. I don't know how the two of you cope. Be right outside.
really sorry, Linda. You know, I, I always respected your father. Thank you, Daniel. should take a break. Your aunt's car is really... Pretentious. I was gonna say fancy, but that too, I guess. She has nice hair. Do you want to talk about stuff? Mm -mm. Great. We're dying down here. We need you. She wants to live with the neighbors. Great. Problem solved. She's hardly said two words to me since I got here. Look, I'm sure you'll figure it out. I'll be back this weekend. And signing this will make you responsible for her personal and property interests. What was that? Well, Linda will be in charge of everything your grandpa left you. She can't have the farm. Grandpa gave it to me because she left. Andrew. Andy, you're required to have a guardian. Why? Well, you could petition for emancipation. How do I do that? Well, you have to show that emancipation's in your best interest. I don't see a court very easily granting you emancipation. I really think you'll like it in San Francisco. What about Colette and Daniel? I couldn't be with them until I'm 18. Well, your aunt is willing and qualified to be your guardian. If you fight this, you're more likely to end up in foster care than you are being granted emancipation. She's trying to take me to San Francisco. Not going. Well, of course you're not. Hey. How's your Aunt Linda doing? Fine, I guess. You know, we were all really close when we were in high school. She's still living in the city? Mm -hmm. How's the restaurant going? Ryan, let's go! Coming! Did you, did you just tell her I said hi? Emma. You guys coming back for lunch? Or you want me to take it out to you? I don't know. I'll see you later. Sí, así. ¿Estás tomando el control de la huerta? Tengo una opción. Mira, Andy, encontramos la cuadrilla, pero no tienen papeles. Todo tiene que comer, ¿verdad? Suena igualito tu abuelo. Hi. What are you doing here? Your aunt hired me to help you guys pack up. How come you didn't tell me you were leaving? I'm not.
Hey. Where you been? Working. I spoke with Jeremy Davis from the bank. He said payments on the orchard have been overdue for months. Did your grandpa say anything about this? It'll be fine after we get paid for the crop. The farm hasn't made a profit in years. It's not your problem. Sell the orchard. No. I have to go back to the city. You can't stay here by yourself. Yes, I can. Look, I'm sorry, but your grandfather was broke. Just because Grandpa died doesn't mean you're in charge. He left the farm to me on purpose. He didn't want you here. And this isn't your home. Stop packing. It's more complicated than that, Andy. It's about doing what's best for you. Do you really want to stay here forever? Why wouldn't I want to stay here? Grandpa was right, you just left because you're selfish. You need to start packing. It's not a choice. Some help? Nope. Let me take a look at it. Probably just need some more muscle. Stop treating me like I can't do anything. Andrea, look at you. You're all grown up. Thanks for meeting with me. Anything for George Stone's granddaughter. I was real sorry to hear about his passing. Thank you. So what can I do for you? Well, I need to sell my crop. Really? I have 36 acres and can deliver 20 this tons an acre for 500 a ton. And uh, who's uh, running his orchard now? I am. You. <laughs> you seem real smart, but not even the best fruit's going for $500 a ton now. It's the best crop that we've had in years. It's the best that I've ever seen, so. Look, you're young and you're pretty. Don't waste your time trying to become a farmer. You're much better off trying to sell that land of yours and settle it down. I, I really... Real sorry about your granddaddy. Been all fruit and nut this run. Mm-hmm. Yes. She likes slamming doors. Sounds like you. I used to be like that. 
hated everybody and everything. What changed? Nothing. All she thinks about is payroll and that stupid pump. Oh, just drag her out. I heard you and Andy aren't getting along so well. We're fine. Look, I know you never wanted to be here. Look, I'm giving you another option, Linda. Does Colette know you're here? You don't need to tie yourself down. You must be joking. She needs a family, Lens. Did it ever occur to you that not everyone wants to live the way you do? I'm, I'm just saying, you don't have to do this. Andy doesn't want to leave. Why make her? We can help you, both of you. Alright. What was that about? Nothing. What do you want? I can't understand how you can breathe in this place. Sold it. Sold it. So you're coming to the city with me? No. Need to pay real money. Andy, we talked about this. You're not running the farm. You can't just sell everything we own. Well, it's my stuff, not our stuff, and we didn't talk about anything. <sighs> Daniel was here to help, wasn't he? You don't know me! What's wrong with it? It's filled with sand. Caught the filter. I heard you were gonna try and run harvest on your own? Rock of the town, I guess. Are you sure this is what you wanna do? If you just let someone help you, Brian would. Just let him. I don't need him.
gonna be lots of people there to distract you. It'll make you feel better, I promise. Come on, you are such a robot. Hi, Miss Stone. Linda's fine. What's going on? I'm trying to get Andy to come to the senior party tonight. Brian Williams invited us. But it's like super safe, so no alcohol or anything. Oh yeah, I'm sure. I was thinking maybe tonight would be a good night for Andy and I to watch a movie, hang out. I'll go. Oh, you brought Andy. I'm impressed. I basically had to pull her off the tractor. Oh, I'm glad you did. <laughs> Megan! Nice dress. Can I get you a drink or anything? No, I'm good, thanks. Do you want to... Do you want to dance? Nah. You like the virus. Open your eyes and see my iris. I am the nicest, the flyest, the highest. I am your highness, and I'm believer, so fuck the pious. I am the mob. Hey, Mike. So. So, we're gonna go dancing. Go Wilson! But happy. Do you want to dance? <laughs> sure. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 You okay? Just don't understand why you couldn't dance with Ryan. His feelings were really hurt. He wanted to dance with you. It's Ryan, it doesn't matter. He's probably thrilled you dance with him. He cares about you, Andy. You care about him too. You're just too stubborn to admit it. How was the party? Why not I guess? I didn't know you were into Ryan. I'm not. But you went to the party to see him. No, Kate wanted me to go. What? Is that all? Why do you care? Andy, I lived here when I was 16 too. I'm just saying, I think you can do more. Then what? Then marrying your neighbor and getting stuck in the same place for the rest of your life. It was a party. I know. I'm just saying. You don't like it here. I get it. No. I just think you need to look beyond this place. Walk out here? Where's your ATV? Sold it. What do you want, Jeremy? <sighs> your aunt told me that you're having a hard time coming to terms selling the farm, so thought I'd come down and talk to you about it. Not selling. The current uh, economic landscape just doesn't allow for a single farmer to farm one farm anymore, especially not a young girl all by herself. It's all about critical mass in a 
globalized consumer market nowadays. Big words make you feel bigger, Jeremy. Just try to understand that it's easier to farm pears in Argentina now where production costs are lower. Not everything's about money. But look at this as an opportunity to start something new. You have your whole life ahead of you. Why do you care? Dude, I don't want to see you suffer, Andy. There are going to be over 100 homes on this land in the next few years, and none of what you're doing here is going to matter anymore. Is that how you can afford a new car? Andy, this you're is You're turning about, this into a this subdivision? Grandfather would want you to benefit from this. Ow! Sorry about your father. Good to see you again, though. Mr. Davis said he was not going to press charges, so she's free to go. You going to keep acting like a child? I was defending myself. Have any free cells? Sure. You said I'm free to go. Not without a guardian's signature. See you in the morning, Sheriff. Fine. What were you thinking? That he's an asshole? It doesn't mean you can assault him. What if he pressed charges? He wouldn't want everyone to know he got beat up by a girl, so... You need to grow up. I need to grow up. I'm protecting everything Grandpa worked for. You're the one who ran away. That's not what happened. <laughs> Andy, you're fighting a battle that was lost a long time ago. You don't end up like Colette. Colette's a better person than you'll ever be. Andy! Andy? Get out. Look, I know you can do it yourself. I'm just trying to help. So I hear you and your aunt are having a hard time getting along? said I'm being irresponsible and stubborn. I don't think you're being irresponsible. Says the boy who shirks all responsibility. <laughs> stubborn, on the other hand. I'm surprised your dad's gonna let you take over the farm at all. 
This is the first time I've seen you work all summer. What? I don't know. I don't really know if I want to do this forever. You don't want a farm? I mean, I should, right? I want a family. I want a house and all that. I love this place. It's home. I just feel like there's gotta... There's gotta be something more for me. It's never really felt like this is it, you know? You're doing that wrong. I got it. Andy, wait. Andy, I'm sorry. That's so romantic. No, Kate, it wasn't like that. What do you mean? No, I didn't like it. OK, well, you'll get over that. Well, what do you mean? I just mean I wasn't that excited about Mike at first, but he grew on me. That's insane. Then you shouldn't be with him. <sighs> OK. Then what should I do? Who should I be with? Because I've got things figured out. I know what I want. It's to be with someone who wants me and not be alone like you and Linda. So you're saying you want to marry Mike? I'm saying I want a life here after we graduate. I want a husband and kids, and I want to do that with my best friend. You could have these things if you'd stop being so stubborn. No, I'm not you. I don't like that crap. OK, that's a little judgy. Okay, okay, you know what I meant. Yeah, I know what you meant. You know, I always thought you were just like a little weird, but you think you're better than everyone else. <sighs> Sorry, my life isn't good enough for you. Kate. Hey. Kate? Let's go. I should be at work in a few hours. You're coming with me, at least for the weekend. I'm not going anywhere. We're leaving in 10 minutes. If you're not in the car, you can spend the weekend in lockup. Can I drive? Finally. Hey, I'm Luke. Okay. <laughs> what the hell's wrong with her? She's just pissed because she didn't want to stop playing farmer and join the real world. Yeah, well, I didn't want to run the kitchen by myself for the last week. Just stay out of the way. You know why I work here? Her. She makes the goddamn world go round, and if you can't see that, it's your loss. Because you're not going to sit here and pout. Luke, where the hell are you? Coming, chef. Wash your hands.
We have 12 top reservations here. 12 top? Since when? Shit, I got so thick in the weeds, I forgot to clock it in. My bad. Damn it. Stall him. Luke, find more filet. On it, chef. Andy, help Susan. Just do what I say. So what do you think? It was okay. Why did you leave? Dad sold my horse for a tractor. That's why you guys hated each other? We didn't hate each other. It was more than that. He bailed the orchard out with our college funds. Whoa. Then he acted like nothing happened. He never talked to us. Plus, I knew if I stayed, everyone would expect me to get married and have kids, and I didn't want that, so. That's what Kate wants to do. What? Get married, have kids all the time. Is that what you want? No. I mean, sure, Colette seems pretty happy, but... Colette got married when she was your age. I thought you guys graduated together. And I finished a year early. She started dating Daniel a couple weeks later, and then she dropped out. Daniel said you and Colette and my mom were friends in high school. <laughs> Daniel and I dated for three years. What? He wanted to get married. Then I left and he married Colette a few months later. You know, so I'm ready to move in. I need to go back. It's not just about Grandpa. 
Everyone else thinks they know what I want and they don't. Everyone wants you to be their version of you. Where does your restaurant get its produce? Mostly wholesalers. Ben Hoffert not already turned me down. <laughs> your mom used to call it Ben Hoff fruit face and nut job. <clears throat> Go around him. You don't make any money off him anyway. How? We're not looking for new produce suppliers. You should be. Oh, yeah? <laughs> the fruit you have on display is scabby, rotting, and we're never properly ripened, so, yeah, I'd say so. If you don't refrigerate Bartlett's before you put them on display, they turn mushy when they ripen. Your current supplier left out a step. We, on the other hand, can guarantee ripe fruit deliveries weekly. No thanks. We can also beat your current supplier's price by 25%. We're paying, what, 80, 85 cents a pound? We can do 60. How about 50? Freddie across the street would jump on this. <clears throat> okay, okay. I'll need 50% up front. Fine. Uh, who do I make the check out to? Piedra Vieja. Chance. 
back for the other foot. How can we help you? Unfortunately, the bank has decided in moving forward to seizing George's assets. You have a week to vacate the property. What? Sorry, it's the board's decision. It's out of my hands. Well, that's bullshit. This is because of your Andy. development. I'll finish harvest before then and you'll get your money. Hi. Look, um, about the other night. Andy, I know everything with your grandpa dying in. Sorry, that's, I, I just, look, and, Jesus Christ, Andy, I, all right, look, you can act like I'm just the jerk who lives next door, that you don't remember us growing up together, but I'm not... I'm not gonna forget. Quebrado. Necesitamos llevarlo a un hospital. Sí. No, 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 no. Necesitas un doctor, Jaime. Hi, we think his arm might be broken. Fill out the paperwork, bring it back to your dad. Does he have papers? He needs help. He needs a doctor. What's the problem? His arm is hurt. Doctor, he needs to be checked in first. Come with me. Estoy bien, no más has deslocado. Andy, I really need to talk to you. Where's everyone? Jeremy called immigration. What? Are, are they everyone okay? Everyone's safe. It was just a scare tactic. I kill him. Perdóname, Andy. Tal vez no me ya lo oído. No es tu culpa, Jaime. No, pero no podemos cosechar cien toneladas en una semana. be a way to fix it. What way? There's, what, 200 tons left? We can't do that.
pregnant. Wait, what? <sighs> Kate. I mean, it's a bit sooner than I wanted to have kids, but I'm almost 18, so it's not that big of a deal, right? Andy. Did you tell Mike? Um, so a few weeks ago, after our fight, I was so mad. And Ryan texted me, and I was talking to him about it. And then we were hanging out, and... Someone to be happy. Give me a minute. Andy, what are you doing? Hacking. So that's it? What happened to sticking up for what matters? Me too, you should be thrilled. Okay, so Jeremy's a prick. Kate's pregnant. And apparently she's keeping it. And it's Ryan's. <sighs> Does it ever stop? No. Not really. It's suffocating. You think I don't want to punch Jeremy? I almost shot Daniel's father once. He saw me driving tractor during harvest and said I should go back to the kitchen. So I shot dad's 20 gauge into his engine block. doesn't stop, but you learn to deal with it, because if you don't, they win. Come on.
three more trees. Thank you. What's wrong? Ryan loves you, Andy. Kate, I don't want to- I know. That is the worst part. You have him right in front of you, and you don't even- Do you have any idea what I would give for that? I told him about- He wants me to get rid of it. He says that it's my fault. That I'm crazy for trying to... No, it's not your fault. No. It's not your fault. Uh, no time. Bank opens in 30 minutes. So, uh, get home pretty good, so... Thank you again. You're welcome. Yeah. Oh, hey, Andy. Uh, good to see you. Uh, Victor, this is the young lady whose land you just purchased. Here's Andy, your money, is... Jeremy. Andy. You're too late. Mr. Thompson now owns your Thank land. You, this is your money. I, I'm paying off all my debts. Pleasure doing business with you. You too, Victor. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Andy, you no longer owe the bank money. Matter of fact, we owe you money. There's a check in my office here for you. No. Andy, the bank only took what is legally ours. You, you get you the rest. You couldn't have waited for me to sell my crop. I, it, banks do that for farmers all the time. Yeah. Your cut was over $500,000. That's a lot of money. I mean, you should celebrate. The entire valley is being developed. The Miltons, the Ericsons, the Williams, they've all sold their yeah, land. The Williams did sell. Daniel and Colette didn't sell. Yeah, they did. Two days ago. Andy, it's just business. Hey. What the? Hey, 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 ah! calm, Andy, calm down, calm down. You didn't tell me. I didn't tell you what? About the bank? About what you did to Kate? Andy, that's not what you think. Don't tell me what I should think. You sold out and you hurt Listen, her. We all just made a lot of money on this deal. You think I care about money? You won't have to do all this work anymore. You can actually have a life with me. <laughs> Annie, I want to be with you. I, I'm sorry, but I did this to take care of you. <laughs> I never asked you to. Andy, come on. Andy, please, I'm sorry. Andy! Just let me explain. You'll understand. Andy, what the hell? This was always going to happen, Andy. This is good for us.
Did you love when you were young? Did you walk? Did you run? Did you feel my having won by now? The fields and season by. so afraid of being alone. I didn't think I could do anything on my own. I'm still afraid. But you, you're so much stronger than me. Andy, I love you, but you don't belong here. Right, let's go. That told me what happened. What are you gonna do? If we don't get married, my dad might actually kill him. Do you wanna get married? Dad thinks it's what's best for her. I don't know. Her? I can tell. Where are you gonna go? I don't know. Well, you have to send us postcards. She slashed a hole in my son's tire. And he deserved it. That girl's put everything she has into this place. None of you could have even mentioned you were gonna undermine that. What happened to she needs a family? What are you talking about? You left, you don't care about family. I chose to leave. She doesn't get that choice anymore. What, you, you think I, I want the subdivisions and the, 
the strip malls, and the highways. I have been watching them get closer my entire life. There's nothing we can do.
Thank you. 